welcome guys so in our series of mysql database today we are going to talk about uh, what is fragmentation uh, we can we see a lot of with, uh, with the due to a lot of inserts and deletes there may be chances that your data tables are fragmented so how to remove them uh, we'll discuss in this video so let's start it okay so what is fragmentation so in my sql fragmentation refers to the phenomenon where data and indexes within a table are scattered or the, like they fragmented across the storage space of the database like on the physical memory uh, this storage space is like the one uh, the row for a particular table is at one page one row of a particular table is at some other place so that and uh, due to some uh, in, uh, inserts and deletes continuous inserts deletes and uh, this can happen okay so this is what we call as fragmentation so that uh, there may be a lot of data pages where we have uh, more space left because when we de delete the data that may not be uh, deleted from the physical location properly and uh, st still it is not occupied by some newer data so that's how your data is uh, fragmented we can call it fragmentation so how to overcome it we can analyze the table to overcome it but uh, we'll see in our next uh, in our later video but uh, let's understand how what are the types of fragmentation we can have so majorly uh, we can have a table fragmentation we can call it data fragmentation and uh, index fragmentation okay so data fragmentation what is it data fragmentation occurs when the actual data rows within a table are stored in a non contiguous manner on the disk like one uh, a row is stored at one page and first page and one row is placed at a tenth page and uh, one row is placed at ninth page nth page so we it's very much difficult for us to find uh, the query processing time and all those things will take time and also the uh, data for those pages will be left uh, due to some delete so that's the process frequent inserts updates and deletes can uh, cause this problem so the data pages become scattered like they are on most of the page, uh, pages of the database but they and they may require additional i input outputs to fetch out the pages so this is data fragmentation uh, it impact query uh, performance it can impact the another one is index fragmentation so index fragmentation occurs when the index pages of uh, a tables indexes are not stored sequentially on the disk okay so if we have a primary key or uh, the uh, composite key or any uh, unique key so that uh, may our data visually stored on the data pages on the sequence of that key index key but uh, if that is not stored sequentially on the disk like we do not have primary key or anything and uh, uh, our index is uh, like due to update delete our indexes are not on the proper way uh, we have deleted some rows but indexes are still uh, pointing to the older things so uh, when indexes become fragmented can lead to slower index lookups okay so uh, when we have a index on five pages like suppose we have index uh, our data is on the table for the table stored on the stored as per the index on the table okay if we have primary key so that will be stored on the index or any index we can have that is stored on the data pages but uh, like uh, if we have known clustered index okay so that is a store uh, or at some particular place at the data uh, at the physical level okay at the data page 
but with uh, due to a lot of inserts update delete that will be uh, that uh, non clustered index uh, will mm -hmm. be not in a proper proper order so that is you can call index fragmentation okay so these are the two kind of fragmentation you can have data and index and uh, to remediate this uh, we can do few things one of them is uh, optimize or reorganize table okay in uh, when you are using InnoDB, you can use a uh, optimize table statement okay so th what uh, that do that uh, use the ultra table we cannot uh, optimize the table directly in InnoDB. we can uh, the optimize table command uh, takes two steps ultra table it changes the engine of the uh, table if that is already in no db but still this command will uh, recreate the table based uh, on this ultra table change uh, ultra table engine in no db so we are here changing the engine by this the table will be restructured and uh, rebuild this helps in reclaiming unused space another thing we can you do analyze table this will uh, update the table statistics like uh, what's the uh, optimization plan for that uh, uh, table or for a particular query what are the indexes or those are in a particular order or not so the execution plans uh, related to that table with this analyze query will be affecting will, will be more uh, suitable like more uh, that will save a lot of your time if you do analyze table from time to time okay uh, another one is defragment indexes like the same thing if there are indexes you can uh, you need to recreate the indexes there's nothing like you can uh, do to reclaim the space for the indexes you need to drop the index and then recreate the indexes okay reducing uh, for my same tables you can just use the optimized table statement to defragment the indexes okay uh, in my exam tables optimized tables will defragment your indexes but uh, with inner db you need to drop your index and create indexes okay to rebuild them optimize them so it's important to note that the impact of fragmentation depend on the specific workload of your database engine okay if you are using InnoDB, MySem, InnoDB is not that much fragmented but MySem is very much fragmented and uh, uh, you need to op do the uh, analyze table and optimize table to reclaim the fragmented space from time to time okay and you need to take appropriate actions if you see if your table is fragmented so that's all for the theory theory, theory process uh, let's go to the lab and see how this uh, works in real time okay so let's go to the lab okay so this is our script uh, we'll be using this to see if there is uh, fragmentation in our database or not you can use this query I'm excluding table information schema here so you see you see there this the fragmentation ratio here is 8 this is uh, organizing the uh, tables in the descending order so the in this table we find the most fragment this table we find most fragmented it is 8 but in uh, real time tables where we have a lot of data or in your production databases you will see a lot of fragmentation here like 50 60 70 up to 70 but you need to take action if that is 
uh, more than 30 then so that you need to take immediate action on that so that will uh, that may impact your query performance okay so data phase 5 fragmentation is it what to do what we can do to empower what we can do to like this is our table let's query this and table name is equal to see Fragmentation ratio is 8 here. Okay, so what we can do? We can optimize table and then table name. Okay. It will show you this it is recreating and analyze the table okay but automated table table is working in in odb as well okay so let's see what's the status right now we did optimize table that is removed because we are checking the data with fragmentation is greater than zero so right now that fragmentation for that table is should be zero or maybe less than zero it so that is removed let's see if that table is removed from our list yes that table is removed from our list where the that for that table our fragmentation is zero so that is reorganized now and uh, we don't have any fragmentation for data or index on that table so this is how you can uh, defragment your table in InnoDB. okay so that's all for you can also do analyze table from time to time like our optimized table did both of things it recreated the table and then uh, analyze the table as well but you can simply do analyze table and then table name. okay Oops. the table name okay you can do this as well if for optimizing a particular table you need to see if that is the production data and uh, how what is the size of that table that will for a larger table it will take a lot of time so first check your table and uh, uh, issue uh, data first to see uh, if you are able to optimize your table or not because that may uh, if we start optimizing a table then it will take a lot of time and they that may you may end up in uh, losing your or time for and your production and your that will end up in your uh, users may not able to uh, and access that particular table on that particular time uh, till when uh, till you are doing uh, till the table is optimized so that that is that the thing you need to be very careful before doing the optimizing a particular table so but this is just i'm just telling you how to optimize your table how to defragment your particular table so that's all that's all from the uh, fragmentation uh, you can defragment your database tables from time to time i'll be putting that script so that you will analyze your tables uh, you will see the fragmentation of your database time to time okay so that's all thank you and i'll be seeing you in the next video bye bye